and this is why Islam was so appealing to me, was because it was a religion where it was quite conservative. And obviously nothing like that really exists in Britain anymore. While most girls in Britain wear what they want, practicing Muslim women often wear hijab, a headscarf and long loose clothing. So what if you have to wear a long dress and, and you know, cover yourself modestly? It's good dressing, you know, it's like, why would you want to get everything out? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, what's the point? You know, who are you trying to prove to? If you're really okay with yourself, who cares what you wear? I'm a very fashionable person, but I'll do it with my own style. Things won't be out, my legs won't be out, my bum won't be out, do you get what I mean? But I still look really nice. There's a way of dressing that looks nice and modest, modestly, you know. And it says in the Quran that a woman can chase knowledge if she wishes. You know, it's like everybody gets really excited because um, I'm like a newborn Muslim and everybody's like, oh, will you pray for me? Will you pray oh. for me? How long have you been wearing the headscarf? I kind of experimented with it. I've got to be honest. I kind of put a scarf on my hair. I wondered, like, hmm, can I do this, you know? Mm. But it's like, there are Muslims out there that didn't even wear hijabs, you know? Like, yeah. like you, you know, as well. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you don't have to wear it. Kuma May Concern, Claire Louise Evans, a.k.a. Safia. <laughs> um, uh, this is to certify that Miss Claire Louise Evans, Safia, has been embraced and accepted Islam, uh, Islam as a religion on August 2012. <laughs> the feeling you get when you pray is it's much different when you just put your hands together. Something washes over you, it's like the deepest meditation that you can think of. Prayer is like 4 until 5. I, I gotta be honest, I don't know who goes up at 4.24 in the morning. Do you get what I mean? You know, <laughs> you gotta be really dedicated to do that. Because although I love to pray, I love my sleep as well, so I kind of always miss this. But like, I always like make up for it later. So, I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I'm probably really naughty Muslim. Still haven't opened this, I was kind of afraid to open it in case it got dirty. It like, shows you which way <laughs> to pray and stuff. It's really ironic actually, it's supposed to be for Islam, and yet it says made in China. <laughs> like, it's my book and like how to do prayers and stuff, you know, it's just got like, like what are you supposed to say and got all that sort of stuff in it, you know. So yeah, so whenever I start praying, I always have that in front of me and I do it really slowly because like, I can't do it really fast because like obviously I'm new and I want to do it properly. How are um, other members of the family with Sophia's change of religion now? They're not very happy. They, oh. they don't, they're just not very happy about it. Do you think they'll ever get used to the idea? It's very hard. They, they are pretty accepting my family, mm -hmm. I like to think that they are, and they will come round in time. What do you think about Islam? I started reading things and I read the Quran, and I just found lots of it, like the Bible, you know, which I'd read mm -hmm. things in the Bible, and I really don't see it's such a bad religion, and, and things that she's told me that the parents have more say in things. Mm -hmm. I see lots of things, the way my mother used to say things about courting and mm -hmm. back to fetch the boy home and wait. Yeah. The Muslim religion is more of the old-fashioned mm -hmm. Christian way. Mm -hmm. 